What's up guys? Jack and Tay Tay, what's going on? If you're watching this on playback, then this is the eight box break with Obsidian. Yeah, a few minutes late, I wanted to make sure everything was set up and then I thought I'd mixed up the list. Then I didn't, so you guys beat me to it. <laughs> um, but man, today is, a, today is a big day. Today is a big, big day. We got basketball. Sam, Gretchen, Mateo, Cohen, what up guys? Constant, always first. Aiden and Hayden and Psycho. Dude, I'm pumped. Basketball is back. Like, scrimmages were fun, but basketball is back, back. I think uh, a lot of people are excited, man. This will be awesome. What's going on, Jack? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yep, tonight, I think, uh, let's see, what time is it now? So, two hours, maybe? Yeah, I think, yeah, 6.30, so that's when the Grizzlies, not Grizzlies, the Pelicans, my bad, and uh, Jazz play. <laughs> oh, man. Nice, nice, very nice. Thanks, Pack Luck. Logan, what up? Lakers, Clippers. Uh, who you guys got? I, I'm thinking Lakers, Clippers. Give me... I'm going with the Clippers tonight. Uh, let's see. Clippers, Clippers. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I want the Lakers to win. I'm a big LeBron fan. I love LeBron. Just such a good dude. But the Clippers have so much firepower. I know they don't have Trez. They don't have Lou. But Kawhi is just a different beast. Kawhi is something else. There's no, no one quite like this guy. You don't know about the Clippers? I mean, if, if they lose, it's because they don't have that firepower. But um, I just think Kawhi is just something else, especially when he's playing against the uh, the Lakers. I think it's going to be a great game. What about Jazz Pelicans? What do you guys think? Jazz Pelicans? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, Pac Look, I remember you. Pelicans. I'm thinking, is Zion playing officially? Anyone know? Does he, is, was he cleared? I would hold it for a little bit, the, the Zion. If, if Kawhi wins this time, we're having an interesting conversation because he's still in his prime. He's still in his 20s. We're having a big conversation. If he wins another championship, probably playing. Uh, no news on the Mets yet. I think I have a couple updates on my end, but nothing that I don't think uh, benefits any, like, is used to useful to you guys yet. Uh, when I do have something, I'll let you guys know. Um, mainly I'm trying to see what other people sell mats for. I mean, what do you guys think? What do you guys usually see mats selling for? Like I see a kind of varying amount, but for a custom mat, it costs a little bit more. I'm cutting some sleeves right now while I get ready. Same time. <laughs> Definitely not eight bucks for these mats. These mats can be, uh, I mean, I, brought, I didn't buy mine in bulk, but mine were pretty expensive. Oh, Logan, that's bad. That's bad news, man. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. I'm gonna start getting this off the screen so we can do the randoming, but that hurts. That's way too much. I know some people sell theirs from 25 to 35. Or no, is that the custom ones? Or because it's also just plain like black ones. I don't know. I I'm doing some research. I'm doing some digging, asking people. It's good. Yeah, like 30 ish, somewhere around there. All right, let's get these guys to the side. Let's random these names. Uh, Chronicles should release tomorrow. But the price, I mean, they're, they're getting really bad now. These people have, have problems. They're just mark. I mean, people are buying boxes for like a thousand bucks. All right. Here's the names and teams. Pause it for a second if you want. No problem, man. So we're going to take these names. 25 spots. If it's all 1920, I try to keep it 25. Makes it a little more expensive, but the good part is, you know, um, you don't just get stuck with just one of those teams. Uh, yeah, Panini sells does not sell for the SRP. I don't know how many of you guys know that. Panini sells for a resale. The SRP for this one is probably like 150, 120. But uh, we'll roll two dice here. So we always go here, quicker dice roller. Get for the second time now, get two dice and we're rolling them. Our number is nine. 
and then we'll bring it to this list here. We'll click on that. I'm gonna try to do hobby. It it's so expensive. I mean, I'm getting hammered on on some of those boxes I'm doing, but I have a good time. All right, here we go. Nine times. 2020 football is loaded, yeah, but it's only the quarterbacks in football that really go for anything. You got to be careful doing too much football. I spent tons of my life in football, and the return is rough. Of course, quarterbacks, you get them a homes, you know, but that's good. If there's another big guy like him, then you're, you're good to go, but it, it's rough sometimes. All right, here we go. Good luck with the names. Let's take that, put them here. Teams, Hawks. Well, see, with good, the good thing about basketball is there's multi, any position can be good, right? The bad thing about football is people like Saquon, Zeke, their rookie year. Those are, those are the guys you want to get into. Maybe they're going for like a couple hundred bucks. Maybe they're going for more than that. But right after that, they plummet. And I didn't know that when I first started collecting. So I was buying a lot of Zeke, a lot of Saquon, a lot of Fournette. Immediately, everyone who's not a top quarterback, and even some quarterbacks, they just plummet. And um, all the draft stuff plummets. So football is risky. But obviously, a guy like Mahomes or another top quarterback would be worth a ton. So that's that's the kind of reward for the risk. There we go. There are teams. Yeah, 2017 football. That's the example of why we like to buy f football. Mahomes, Watson, McCaffrey. So there's our names and teams. Pause that for a second if you want to see what's going on here. And I'll put that in the description. What do you guys, uh, any of you guys baseball fans out there? What do you guys think about Joe Kelly getting suspended less than cheaters, uh, for more than cheaters? The virtual, what's that? The vir what? He got yeah, I, I like Joe Kelly now. I'm a Yankees fan, so you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're cheating. They're cheating. Keep getting away with it, too. All right, let me put these in the description. Sports. I've never heard of... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, no, I'm not sure. All right, my computer's being very slow right now, so <laughs> bear with me, SI. Also, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, but dude, ugh. I do not like the Astros. But I mean, like, I understand if he wants to spend it from what he's doing, it was near the head, but at the same time, like, they didn't punish the Astros, like, at all. I, I would do that, that, I would do that for, for a ring. Oh, here we go, all right, back it up. I don't know if YouTube just like, you know, failed on me for a second, but it just wasn't loading. All right, now it's going in the description. Sorry for that delay. Yeah, but like they barely punished the Astros. I think I think uh, he's good. Uh, also, don't spam if I uh, see anyone spamming. Then I'll have to, you know, uh, time you out, and after that you get removed. All right, there we go. So we're adding stuff to the description. Should be all down there within the next second or two. All right, should all be down there now. I don't know what happened. YouTube kind of just, yeah, yeah. I know, that's the tough part. You have to give them, in order to get that information out of them, you gotta kind of give them that immunity, but. Dude, all right, let's see. All right, dude, I don't know. YouTube is, is not, uh, at least the thing I work out of isn't, too good today. All right, so now, sorry for that delay. All teams and names should be down below. I'm going to read some highlights out right now. We got um, Knicks, Nicholas. We got Pelicans, Nick. We got Grizzlies, William. Celtics, Benjamin. Bucks, Dakota. Heat, Neil. Mavericks, Nicholas. Cavs, Hor uh, Corey. Who else we got? Uh, Wizards, Sage. Lakers, Ethan. Nuggets, Andrew. 
uh, Bulls, Kevin, Hawks, Jay. All right. Good luck, guys. And with that being said, what do you guys want to do first? What do you guys want to do first? Prism Choice. That's the first one I saw. We'll save uh, Obsidian first off the line for last. That one can be boom or bust, but I mean, so can anything else. At these prices, it's, it's getting crazy. I'll move these out the way. All right. Best of luck, guys. What do you do? Let me check it. Someone's, he's spamming again. I don't see, I see like a couple messages from him. Okay, Just make sure you're not going too crazy, man. Prism Choice. I think that's the case with everything, but the good part about basketball is you can count on usually a couple guys. Small guys kind of panning out. Uh, first off the line and regular. First off the line has exclusive contents and comes out early. Oh, we do have a Tiger coming up. PJ for the Hornets. Nice silver there. Hornets is one day I'll find the name within the first three seconds, but that day is not today. Uh, Joseph. Tiger. Cavaliers. Could we get so lucky? Get a Garland or a KPJ? We cannot. <laughs> Anyone who's been in a recent stream knows why. That's funny. The virtual. But there is a national this year, isn't there? At the end of the year. I don't know. The virtual. That kind of sounds like a little pointless. I don't know. But hey, that's a nice find. Uh, Prism PSA 10. Is that a base or is that a silver? John Hens. Actually, no. You know what? Let's use him to see the next guy. I know what that is. Easy. Cody Martin for the Hornets again. Hornets always get like all their cards in the same box. We have a Alonzo Morning. John Henson is is a legend. Alonzo Morning to eighty eight. We got a uh, Dwayne Dedman. Oh, Rudy Gobert. I thought that was a rookie. Carson Edwards, Celtics. Was what a deal. Just base. Ah, that's, that's not bad. Nice. How's it work? Is there like actual tables and stuff? Like how, how does it work? Like selling stuff and buying stuff. You know? I feel like if there's no, um, what's it called? Like tables, it's kind of tough to see everything. Seems kind of a mess. That seems like something you can't really do online. But if it, I guess it happens, so you can do it. I, I stand corrected. Yeah, exactly. Like I feel like that doesn't really make a lot of sense to have something like that, especially when we're still on pace to have a national. All right, there we go. What do you guys want next? Nashville should be in my uh, home state of New Jersey this year. I think it's in December now. First one I saw was, I think, T-Mall. Oh, no, I saw Elite first. Never mind, Elite was the first one I see. All right, Elite. Elite, Elite. Don't... You can't comment the same thing multiple times. Um, I think you said maybe hook up for shield wax. I think we're right for now. But yeah, I mean, if I don't, I don't see it, don't just keep spamming it several times. I have no problem with, you know, asking questions or saying stuff like that. But I just want to make sure that people don't have to keep seeing the same stuff being spammed. All right, Elite. Good luck, guys. Fernando. Fernando, oh, that's a constant. That's like saying we're going to get a... What's it called? Um, you know, like a base card in this pack. But uh, ah, Nicola to ninety nine. Will Chronicles be in retail? Yes, it will be. The question is, when does it come out? 
Hey, Derek, thanks for coming out. <laughs> Is, isn't everything, though, Gretchen? I think we have an auto right here. Oh, it's sideways. Might be a vet auto, then. Most likely a vet. A Boban? Boban Marjanovic. Auto. I've never even seen a Boban auto. Wow. 45 of 49. Boban Marjanovic auto. I've never actually seen... I've never actually seen him sign before. Mavs, congrats. Hmm. That was a first for everything, I guess. There we go. Boban. Boban's awesome. I love Boban. There we go. Just put this at the bottom since top loader. There we go. Goat bond. <laughs> Numbered here. Boom bond. Harden. Spellbound. At first, I saw like no Hardens. Now I see like several Hardens. My second favorite team. It's tied between like probably like the. Actually, might right now be the Lakers only because I'm a LeBron fan, but it's not even close between Lakers and Grizzlies. I like the Grizzlies a million times more. Star Sad is Simmons. Got a. That's a Trey second year. Bron, 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 Bron. And Christian Wood. Bron, Bron. Anything, it's crazy how much LeBron stuff is just, that's aspirations, Christian Wood. Put Bron here. Uh, PacmanSportsCards.com is where you can buy into breaks. That's linked down below as well as this channel where you can just, um, What's it called? See all my break content. We have a green pen pal, I believe. The odds are there. The odds are there. Oh, Taco Fall. We've gotten like two of the tallest guys in the NBA back to in the in this box. To 35. Nice Celtics. They don't sell out that like in two in like a couple minutes. They sell out maybe in a few hours, several hours. Depends on how many you post. The most unfortunate part right now is that stuff's getting so expensive. And not just expensive, but tough to find. Like, it's not so much as just having the money to go buy. It. It's also finding people willing to sell now. Because people are obviously saying, well, why not hold it a little longer and the price goes up more, you know? So you got to kind of convince them to sell it. And a lot of people aren't selling. Get this a little centered. Do I watch other? Yeah, I watch other. YouTube. I mean, card YouTubers or YouTubers in general? My favorite channel that I watch, I love Chris Move, old Chris Move. That's like super nostalgia. I like, um, what's it called? Wow, we got like six cards in this pack. We got an extra card. Dude, Mr. Beast. I love Mr. Beast. So what's the, I'd say we just got an extra base card, I guess. Court Vision Trey Young for the Hawks. Yeah, dude, I love Chris Move. I watch a lot of Undisputed. Because I don't wake up that early to, uh, <laughs> or don't have the time in the morning to watch it. No one sells at MSRP. Yeah, it's just not a thing anymore. So they set it, but then they charge resale, which uh, I don't watch David Dobrik, but I know people who, who do watch David Dobrik. Um, hey, there we go. Bowl, bowl to two ninety nine. Exactly, Sam. Exactly, man. I don't, I don't know. Is he really? I don't watch him, as I said. I only watch like a few a uh, few different channels. Uh, who else do I watch? I'm trying to think. Numbered Bull Bull. Um, I like Star Wars. I watch a few Star Wars channels. I watch a lot of NBA highlights. I just spend a lot of time watching um, like scouting videos. Like I'm big into finding the, the next big guys. So, I mean, I don't go hard like some of these you know investors out there i just buy them because i like them i just want to own cards with good people as you know I don't, I don't sell my big cards much but um i just try to find out who's the next guy i watch a lot of film but yeah 
David Dobrik does that. I don't watch him enough to even care. If that's true, then yeah, shame on him. But oh well. Star. I watch a uh, stupendous wave. I've seen a little Star Wars theory. I collect a little bit of Pokemon. A little bit. I think my I was chasing that the shiny Charizard. No luck. Kind of wish I just bought the card, but. <laughs> That's same case with this fun, some fun uh, ripping packs. There's value in that to me. Red Lamarcus. <laughs> Chronicles retail is gonna be tough. Oh, watch a lot of Dude Perfect. I like them. They're awesome. Hey, LeBron James, Spellbound. I'm so pumped for basketball. Well, I like to watch. Uh, try to th now that I, I think about it, what do I watch? I watch a lot of random stuff. I just kind of scroll around YouTube till I find something. When I do watch cards, it's more so big case. Like this. Like I watch these a lot. Not just like I don't watch my own, but like I watch a lot of other like people ripping cases and cases of stuff. They don't really talk. They just kind of fly through it. And then um, what's it called? I also watch First Take too. Oh, Romeo Langford. This is a solid one for the Celtics. 255. I don't watch too much baseball. I know I know of this channel. It was because uh, he used to be a Yankee. I think he actually like he's actually a famous like not famous like you know and no disrespect in that, but he's like a professional athlete. I think right. I think someone told me that. I don't watch too much baseball. I'm a, I'm gonna be honest. I don't I don't I watch the sport, but I don't collect too much baseball. I don't know really much. But uh, I tried a little bit of baseball at one point, like on the channel, but. You know, the problem is I don't know too much about baseball. So I'm just kind of sitting there like, uh, is this good? Is this good? But basketball, I'm, I mean, basketball is my thing. Let's get another Trey Young. The Juan Soto. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure most of us are, are basketball guys here, right? Like, baseball collecting, I just don't know enough. Cam Reddish for the Hawks. Nice. I wouldn't say the sport's boring. It can be a little slow. I wish they would speed it up sometimes. That's my kind of knock on baseball is that, like, I love watching it, especially now that we have Garrett Cole and the Yankees. I, watching him, him pitch is a thing of beauty. But I watch, yeah, I like football. Yes, definitely football. Football's fun. And I don't hate any of the sports. Don't get me wrong. We have a, oh, to 10 for the Blazers, CJ McCollum. About to say, I saw some gold, four of 10. Yeah, it's a lot of prospecting, and I, I just gotta let you let you know right now. I'm not up to that kind of stuff. I'm I'm not an expert by any means of baseball, so I let the baseball guys do their baseball, and I, I just stick to my basketball because I would look foolish. And I, once again, I've tried some baseball. Oh, yourself more. I tried some uh, baseball before. Yeah, I pulled that soda one of one, uh, but other than that, at the end of the day, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> Yeah, we're basketball guys. Definitely, uh, this is basketball channel. I think baseball, the year I did collect baseball was when Judge, uh, Glaber, I remember there was a couple other guys. Those were the guys I was collecting really hard. Hey, there we go. That was a nice one. Seku, 37 of 99 for the Pistons. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, see, like, I'm not, and I see like, soccer too. All soccer, baseball, football, all big sports, really great sports. Um, but everyone has their preferences. I'm sure that, you know, those guys might be like, oh, basketball's boring. I actually played baseball more than basketball growing up. That's why I have, like, a, a, always have a, a love and appreciation for baseball. But when, oh! It just, I just got shut up by Mr. Zion to 299. Woo! <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Mr. Zion, come play tonight. Drop 50. Make my cards go up in value and then I still keep them. <laughs> I keep cards. I don't sell. I, I, I just like have a problem. 
against my better judgment. Who's Zeon? We have Zeon William. Yeah, we cover him because we don't even know who that is. Don't even know who that is. One more pack. There we go. But um, no, I think this year, especially since we haven't had sports in so long, I'm definitely excited for to watch baseball. I'm excited for football. And uh, those will be fun. And collecting cards with it. So we you like baseball, football, basketball, soccer, something for everyone. All the markets are, are really nice right now. So it's a lot of fun. Now the box is empty. Yeah, that was a good box of Elite. I, I, yes, uh, Caden, I do watch a lot of Colin Coward, now you, you say it. I watch tons of him. Him, Doug Gottlieb, I think is always on the show. I love uh, Bruce Hart and Rob Parker. Those are fun guys. There we go. All right, uh, what do we want next? We have the Cellos, we have Court Kings, T-Mall, and Prism Retail. First one I see from now on, T-Mall. Yeah. I think Chronicles will be a great product, but at some point, at a certain price point, you got a big man. So we've ranked here the rookies from left to right um, from Brightest Futures. Obviously, Bull Bull is the greatest rookie ever, so we put him first. Uh, T-Mall is the platform they call these on in... Uh, China. They sell them in China. Exclusive to there. And they have their red and, and gold wave parallels. So cool stuff. Kelly Olenek. Nico Melli, the right Pelly. Let's see some, some nice stuff. T-Mall's been, been taking care of us, man. Like I, I owe T-Mall a lot because they've been watching over us. Kendrick Dunn right there is a good rookie to get. Um, well, that's Siku. Chauncey Phillips. <laughs> you saw Kawhi at the airport? I would have said hi. I'm, I'm sorry. I just got to. I love Kawhi. If I see him, I'm sorry, but I got to say hi at least. I saw JR. I know I told the story, <laughs> but that was cool. It was intimidating enough to go up to him. I mean, he's towering over me. I'm like, um. Are, are you J.R. Smith? He's like, yeah. I'm like, can I get a picture? <laughs> like, yeah. And thankfully, some other dude went up to him first, so I felt more comfortable because, like, this dude didn't look like he wanted to be bothered. So one, The first guy was kind of bothering him a little bit, talking to him, like, nonstop. So I was like, I'm definitely not going to take too much of his time. This guy's trying to catch a flight. Looks. I said, hey, man, can I get a quick picture? He's like, sure. And I just took off after that. You ever see that video of, uh, <laughs> of J.R. Smith beating the life of that dude? It's only the guys like Giannis LeBron. Those are like the two guys who go for monster money. We have a blue rookie here. Blue rookie behind our one of one Dwight Powell. Pelicans. We already got a Zion from this from this case, so I feel like it's not Zion. Jackson Hayes, that's good. Probably the second best guy you can get. Nice. Z uh, not Zion. <laughs> Jackson. Jackson Hayes, red wave, dude. These boxes take care of us. Curry's good too, but I don't, and I like, in terms of play, he's definitely like on that tier. But Giannis and LeBron are the two guys because it's all about the now. So, like, yeah, Curry, Kawhi, uh, who else? AD are super superstars, but it's, it's you know, LeBron and it's Giannis that are bringing the super money. Rui and Gerald Green. Is he at the Pelicans? Nick, congrats, man. Base Hassan. <laughs> so I think Chronicles is going to... If, if you put all the products next to each other at the SRP, I think Chronicles can be one of the best products all year. And I don't, I think it's, you know, alone with maybe a prism or something like that. But the biggest problem is that we're at the point where prices are automatically coming out at 
seven, eight times the SRP because obviously everything else is already at that at that point. So not everything else is. <laughs> Congrats, Nick. Congrats, Nick. So everything else is automatically coming out, releasing at that. Look at Mosaic Hobby, which even went up more. And now, Rev uh, not Revolution, Chronicles. So that one's going to be a huge one, one of the better products, but it's going to cost so much money, man. And I wanted to rip so much of this. I wanted to just do personal rips and collect. I love collecting, but man, it's going to be expensive. Lots of Zions. Keep it up, please. Oh yeah, I watched a little bit of uh, his his card stuff too. A lot of nice stuff. We already got a numbered Zion, yeah, man. And he got the, the Jackson and another Zion, so he's doing good. I'm not that tall. I'm like five eight, five nine. I mean, I'm a, yeah, not the biggest dude. Got a cat, red wave. That's right. He needs to get more Zions to equal equal that. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> I love to see it, man. I love to see it. Cardboard over everything. We like cardboard with pictures of basketball players on it. Chris Paul. Uh, I don't. I don't really uh, watch investing stuff. I'm, I I kind of just collect. I know. That, I know investing is huge right now. A lot of people do it. I'm sure if I really wanted to, I could go ham into doing it, but it's not. That's not for me. Uh, teams are in the description. You have, um, can't find on the list. Uh, oh, I think Spurs. I think you're another one too. Are you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I technically, I guess, if I'm holding on my guys, I do invest, but I don't do this purely to invest. This is a hobby. This is to have fun. I mean, I don't want to get away from that. But I, I have, you know. I completely understand why a lot of people want to do it. There's a lot of money to be made and the market's red hot. So, but yeah, I don't, as far as stuff I watch, I don't watch too much. I mean, it's pure investing. No, like I watched case breaks. Usually if it's cards, case breaks. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I just want to see a lot of products ripped. Hero. It's another good one. Taking care of us. My buddy optic, meet my friend optic. Me and Optic go way back. Good friends. I have over my my house on the weekends. We celebrate July 4th together. All sorts of stuff. He's my friend. Optic take, takes care of us. I have so much love for Optic and Optic knows. All right. Got a... The guy we're all looking for, Alan Crabb and Windler. Now that, now that I think about it, really, like, on the topic of, like, whole investing in cards, yeah, once again, there's a lot of money to be made. I, I need to look through my stuff more because if I graded, like, half my stuff, that that value could go way up. But at the end of the day, I just don't, like, I don't want to. Like, yeah, you can make a lot of money, but I just don't want to. Thomas Bryant Gold, that guy. We hit the, That's the chaser, man. That's the chaser. And, oh, I told you guys. I told you he was coming. Optic got to get the plus one. And his plus one is always his friend, Bruno. Always Fernando. Goat. I don't think he's in the set. Uh, maybe in an insert form. Dude, Team All is so good. Fernando Goat always comes. Optic always brings his buddy, Fernando. Goat. And I let him in. You know, we're good friends. We... We take care of one another. I helped him move. Kobe White, hollow my house. Bulls. Very nice. Very nice. In order to be a, a mod, I'd have to know, like, um, like know, know the person well enough. Like if you've uh, bought him before and I've seen you a few times or if I've, like, talked with you several times, then sure. I have to recognize the name, though. Yeah, dude, Team All always takes care of us. Always counted my buddy Team All. Team Mall. And the leak box was good too. I love Tiger Stripes. Tim Duncan. And John Morant. And 
I mean, talking about plus one, Zion gets a plus one, and it's always Ja. They're always together. Congrats, Grizzlies. Congratulations, Grizzlies. Grizzlies, Grizzlies, Grizzlies. William, congrats. This box is taking care of us, man. Team all. I think it's weird that they always put Ja and Zion together, but you know what? When I see one of them, I'm real happy, so I'm okay with it. Because that means the next one's not too far behind. Let's see what's what's this one got for us. Kyrie, splash, 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 cash. Uh, I think Grizz, Grizz all day. Not close. Pelicans aren't gonna win a game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Gary V, no, he's cool. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've uh, you know, I don't watch too much of his stuff. I know who he is and uh, you know, definitely respect. He's um, brought a lot of guys into the card market. So I guess I'm um, thanks for that. That's definitely something I like to see a lot of people collecting. There's a lot of investors at the same time, but as long as people are, are having a good time, loving sports, that's what matters. Sonics definitely need to come back. But yeah, uh, Gary B's a cool dude. It'd be cool if he goes to the National. I'd definitely love to meet him. He's a looks like a guy who definitely knows a lot. Smart guy. Um, Mosaic, Court Kings, or Prism Retail? Charles Vetley. Court Kings. Yeah, but, I mean, it'd, it'd be cool. I mean, I think he was at the National last year. I would love to take a picture with Gary Vee. I mean, he's a influential guy. But, I mean, this year, if they do the National, I feel like you can't get too close. <laughs> so, maybe next year. I don't know. I'm sure one day I'll, I'll get to meet him. That'd be cool. Yeah, Rui's good. Rui's very good. This is how it should always be. Nice little cutout, and the cover is pressing on it so the pack can't shift. That's good. As far as Chronicles, I don't know. I really wish I could tell you guys. Re uh, retail, that is. I, we have no indication whether it comes out on Friday with the actual hobby or if it comes out weeks after. No clue. We will see. On In the stream. He is underpriced. Yeah, I would say that that's accurate. How big was this virtual thing? It sounds like it was pretty, like, decent size. Gary Vee was there. You, you gotta check a lot, but, I mean, mine's always out of stock. It's been out of stock for forever. Matisse. Zach Levine to 149. Hornets. Avery Johnson. About 3,000, really? That's a lot of people. Wow. Oh, we have a Maestro Booker. Avery Johnson auto here. Tyus Jones? Like Grizzlies Tyus Jones? I I, I mean I don't I don't watch him really. I'm not I don't really invest in cards like that, so no. But uh wow, that's pretty cool. Grizzlies Tyus Jones. I actually once commented on a live stream. I was like, yo, like hi Tyus. I think he said hi back. I'm pretty sure it was to me because I was the only one who said hi. I was like, yo, like Tyus Jones. I think he's hurt right now. Get well soon, Tyus. We love you. Who, who do you think is going to ball out? Predictions, stat lines. Let's see some predictions. What do you guys think? Who breaks out? Who has a big game? We have Kemba. Hornets. Is it PJ? It's Cody again. Double Cody. They give us so much Cody Martin. Rudy Gobert. I wonder if Rudy Gobert stays around there. I mean, I'd rather have Donovan Mitchell in the long run because he's younger, scarred league. I wonder what happens with uh, with Rudy Gobert. Do they move on from him? Because from what I understand, the relationship isn't the best between them. Yeah, interesting. I'll, I'll have to do some more uh, some more watching soon. Rudy Gobert. <laughs> there you go. So that was the, uh, definitely the Hornet box. All right, Prism Retail or Mosaic Cellos? I did sell those, Ion. Cello. Cellos it is. Taco, 
Taco drops 100. Dude, I don't think we appreciate Wilt Chamberlain enough. Wilt Chamberlain, I was looking at some stuff, the stats from him, his, like, records on Twitter. This dude's, like, I mean, my goodness, he doesn't get the appreciation. He is crazy, Wilt. Yeah, it, it was just unfortunate. I, I think he was just doing it as a joke, and obviously he didn't know at the time he was uh, he was sick. It, it was an unfortunate situation, but as long as he learns from it, I think that's the most important thing. Terrence Davis, solid rookie there. Uh, I don't think I did read that story. He played against plumbers. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> that's what they say about Jordan on Twitter, like the new generation, or I guess my generation. They always say like, oh, man, you mean the ball guy who played against plumbers? I mean, come on. He played against some some super-duper guy. Nice Claxton for the Nets. Mosaic. And RJ. Pretty sweet pack. Mosaic's a good one. Will, I think, is a guy who could be just as good. Yeah. Will, I would, Will is a superstar. Will is something else. That dude was literally like an alien. The way he can move, his game is something else. Yeah, in 2085, they're big. Yeah, I mean, LeBron James, who played against, like, like a bunch of plumbers, I don't know, uh, Target employees. Uh, this is going to – they're going to forget. I mean, not, a lot of people these days didn't watch Jordan play, so they're like, I didn't see Jordan. Jordan who? That's Scrub. He's not LeBron. <laughs> what, John? <laughs> Pause. Schofield. Say what? JB gonna break out? Who's JB? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was that was some suspect stuff, man. I don't know, bro. That was super cause for pause. Jalen Brown. Oh, yeah, Jalen Brown already is playing like a really great player. <laughs> My sack of cards. <laughs> sure, sure. We're going to pretend he's that, we're gonna pretend that's the case. Gordon? Yeah, big pause. Like, huh? I guess a bro question mark. KD is top three all time. All time Thunder? No one knows. They don't really give us release dates for Chronicles usually around the release date, if not the release date of Hobby, but no way to really tell. Go Bear, playing tonight. <laughs> yeah, I could, that's a, I'm scratching my head right now, man. I'm still waiting for the, I don't know. I don't even know what, <laughs> what to say after that. KD top 10? I, not yet, not yet. He's got to do more than that. 900 retail, that's, that's crazy, guys. That's crazy. Larry Bird, that's too much money. That's crazy. All right, next we'll do this one, and we'll hope for a Zion base. Nick, I'm hoping we can get you that Zion base. Will this be the first one? Because that one eludes us. I don't think we've ever pulled one. Or Ja base for uh, for William. Just some good guys. There we go. Katie can shoot, yeah. Katie is like, as far as scores go, he's one of the best. See you, man. Thanks for coming out. Do you like doing a mini box break? It'd be cool to do a 10 spot. Uh, I like to do bigger ones because I want... The hope is that, yeah, it's more expensive, but at least you get a chance to... More chances that there's a big uh, card in there. Ty Jerome. Cam Reddish. You know, where, where are these Zions? They're just hiding. I mean, is Zion shy? He's not coming out. Maybe we're being too mean. Maybe, maybe we got to be nicer to him. It won't be twenty dollars unless you catch it at Target, and good luck because there's a bunch of guys camping out and like beating into it. LeBron base, Bruce Dacus, and PJ Tucker. Get a sleeve for Mr. Braun. Uh, I I mean someone asked that earlier. Like as far as baseball, football, soccer, I know there's huge markets for it, and I've dabbled in uh, baseball. Um, I do rip it off camera with Miss Pac Man because we have a good time doing it. So I do some baseball off camera. I do a lot of football. Football, I'm, I'm big into, but uh, soccer, I've never gotten too big into. Soccer, it's not too popular around my area, but it, as far as international sports, it might be the, the biggest one. I mean, soccer is super popular, 
But I've never really got too into it. But um, yeah, soccer's huge. Soccer's awesome. Maybe I need to get more into it. I think uh, the last thing I tried to do was get into baseball. And I, I was, while Judge was hot, I was big into it. it. See, like, the same reason why I don't like soccer as much is the same reason I don't like, um, like, hockey. Like, the score ends up being, like, two to three or, like, one to two. I don't know. I like, like, I'm used to basketball where we're scoring 100 points. When, when Judge was hot, oh, uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, time out. <laughs> when Judge, what, his uh, prices were, were red hot. And um, being a Yankees fan, definitely was chasing after after Judge and Glaber, stuff like that. I just got back into baseball. Now I watch on a regular basis, but I don't collect it as much. And don't get me wrong, I still rip a few boxes every year. I ripped uh, Bowman. I'll probably go rip some update when it comes out. I think, what, Luis Roberts, the guy to be chasing now? Free Joe Kelly. I can get behind that move. But yeah, I think one of my goals will be to kind of branch out. Not uh, my channel is still going to be mainly basketball, um, but in terms of my personal collecting, maybe I'll start watching some more stuff. Jason Dominguez, yeah, but he's so like his rookie year. I'll be going ham this year. It's just I tried my Bowman box, Jordan Poole for the Warriors, and I didn't get any Dominguez. I got one rookie, but that's it. Not rookie, uh, first. So. Zion's health is is scary. Zion's and Bol Bol, these two guys right here, both these guys big, but you gotta these guys need to stay healthy. They can be huge. Zion is anyone know any updates? Is he playing tonight? Anyone know? Yeah, and of course you know over time I'll uh, evolve into others. You know my knowledge into other sports, and I'm sure I'll I'll do more of them. Yeah, I might, I might get some judges. Judge is an older guy, which is kind of a, the only downside. Like, Glaber is much younger. Yeah, right after this one. Cam Reddish, Jonas, MPJ. Nice Cam. He is playing? Cause I, 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 last time I checked. Yeah, game time decision. That's what I saw. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully he plays. That would be a bummer if he didn't play. Revenge, Lonzo. One minute restriction. <laughs> that, would, that would be oof. I would just get a big old oof. McDaniels. Reggie Jackson. Of course, if you were in the next break, that will be after this one. I will post a um, this video, make sure it's all up, and then I'll, rest I'll start a new stream after I end this one. It'll probably give me five, 15 minutes, and we'll start the next one as a separate stream. Pelicans, yeah, great potential. I think one, going back to baseball, one reason why I didn't do too much baseball, I stopped kind of doing it on the channel, is because like when I'm doing basketball, I can you know provide commentary, I can give insight. I can, I can speak on it because I know enough about basketball. I watch a lot of basketball. Whereas baseball, when I was doing it, I would just be sitting there quiet like, uh, all right, this guy, okay. Uh, a lot of uhs, a lot of hmm. You know, I just didn't know enough. And I'll expand my knowledge and maybe down the line. Football, I, I enjoy doing a lot. So that one, I feel like I can speak on enough. You know, I've watched, I watch a lot of football. It's a lot of fun. Mahomes being the fourth best player. I don't know about that. That is, I don't know about that, man. Um, there's a stream, uh, go to NBA Reddit. NBA Reddit has a, has a stream or Adam Silver fan page, something like that. I, I watch a stream on there. But keep it, keep it all between this chat. Yeah, we don't want to get it taken down. So keep it on the DL. That's that's my go-to. I watch every game I can. Got Larry Weissman. I don't know. This class is is question question mark. Yeah, NBA streams was so clutch. I'd be sitting there in my night classes in college, just going ham hey, watching. I had like five streams up. I was watching so much basketball. Someone to my right's like, "Yo, can I watch?" I'm like, "Yeah, man." Also, we're all watching basketball, and then. And then we're not discreet anymore. Because then we all like jump back. Yeah, like let's go at the same time. And the teacher's like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, guys, we can't all, all react. We can't be like, oh, when you know, someone, LeBron dunks. I'm like, I'm like, look, I'm the one who first started watching these things. I just gave it to you guys. Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna collect a lot of Melo. I'm not gonna like invest. I feel like that means like sell. I'm probably not gonna sell any of my Lamelo. I'm gonna keep it all. I like him as a person. I think he's a cool guy. He's a fun guy to watch. So I'm gonna collect a lot of Melo. If you got pull any big ones, hit me up. I'll buy it for my collection. The only thing I sell I usually sell is the smaller cards I have or medium cards, and I just do that to buy more cards. Because who wants money when you can have cardboard? Dennis Rodman at the mall. Best rookie next year. It, it's real murky. I don't know. Um, Eric, so my goal was originally to send out like a newsletter, but then they always sell out like within the night, so it's kind of tough to do that. My plan is to um, maybe do that in the future if I post like several in one day. But what I'm going to do is uh, I always post on my, my story, my Instagram story. So follow that, and that's where you can see the – latest breaks oh dang that i thought that i thought that was something crazy reggie jackson for the pistons these autographs are super super short printed so if that was a rookie that's like big even the worst rookies like that's pretty big reggie favorite grizz not uh no vid today i'll post another vid um Tomorrow, hopefully, if I can get Chronicles. I'm praying I can get Chronicles. Cody, that guy, KPJ. Maybe Zion and Ja are together. Maybe that's why in Prism too. Maybe that's why we don't see any. Giannis. Giannis and Tentacumpo. Not sure. Not really sure. But yeah, if you're ever wondering when breaks are posted... If I post a new video, I'll have and a new break is posted. There'll be a little eye like right up here, and it'll drop down within the first two seconds of the video, and it'll say "new break posted" or "join a group break" or something like that. Um, usually, it's a new breaks posted. And my Instagram story, I'll immediately upload or almost immediately upload a uh, a story telling you they're live, and that's the best way to know. Paul George. Where's the, uh, where's our last, like, few, last four packs, I think it is? It's too much. Too much, Nelson. Too much. Where's the, uh, Zions and Jaws? I'm wondering if maybe they just stopped putting them in, in packs. Maybe they wanted to stop giving us our Zions and Jaws. Door is looking solid. Yeah. Last few. No rookie in this pack because Panini doesn't want to give us. I see a lot of similarities. I wonder if this was like part of a second print run because they did that with Optic and they made them a little more rare maybe. See, Ant, thanks for coming out. Come on, is it possible? No rookie again. Julius Randle. <laughs> like they just don't give you rookies, that many rookies in these anymore. I feel like you used to get a ton. And then next up we have... Uh, what is this? Uh, Obsidian first off the line. You have Romeo. At least we got a rookie. Oh, there we go. Well, that's last pack mojo, guys. That's last pack mojo. Lakers. Ethan. Woo. Ooh, 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 ooh. We'll play. That's good news. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Congrats, Ethan LeBron Silver. Ooh, and next year, he'll be wearing number six, I think, right? So is that another year of, like, LeBron first year, first card in his number six jersey? I'm sure they're going to do that. So it's going to be another big year for LeBron base. That does it. Close it off on a good one. All right, here we go. The big, the biggest one from this break would be this one. Big risk, big reward for Obsidian first off the line. Good luck, guys. Some of these can be huge. Some of these can be iffy. But we'll see. If we can get a rookie parallel, that'd be huge. Yeah, Obsidian is one of the cleanest ones. It's wrapping kind of like... There we go. It's kind of stuck there. Chronicles shouldn't be at Target yet. Hey, the pack's actually sitting in there. It worked. All right. Good luck, guys. 
Thankfully, we already hit our a few uh, big ones, so let's just hope for some, some icing on the cake. Here we go. We have a Tobias Harris for the Sixers. Patty Mills for the Spurs. Utah Jazz. I don't think they have any rookies. Mike Conley. That should be our 1 to 16. Uh, 6 of 16. That's for the Jazz. Daniel Tice. And I think we look like this. This is 93 of 99. John Stockton? Whoa, one of one, John Stockton. Whoa. Then Devin Booker and Langford rookie. That's a pretty good rookie. Wow, one of one, John Stockton for the Jazz. Wow. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh, Jonathan, congrats, man. Thunder Jazz, one of the combo spots. John Stockton, look at that. That pattern. Woo. One of one. That's crazy. Awesome. And that don't sleep on the Langford. You only get like one rookie per box. So that's actually pretty good. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I don't see uh, Jonathan in here, but boom. Stockton. That might be the biggest jazz hit I've ever, I've ever actually uh, seen. Quickly sleeve up this guy. All time assist, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's solid. He's solid, for sure. All right, now let's do a little bit of a recap, and then in after the recap, I'll end the stream in 5 to 15 minutes. I'll restart the next stream, and we can see what's what's good. With the, uh, oh, here we go. Langford right here. All right, one, two, and three. Let's recap a little bit. Oh, I just got the official notification. Zion's playing. Officially. That's good. Although, I don't know if there's a minute restriction. Overall, pretty solid. Let's see what we got. We got the Langford base. And these guys are upside down. We had the Mike Conley to 16. The Patty Mills to 75. Uh, Tice Braun. Silver. Next stream will be in 15 minutes. Stay uh, watching. Reggie Jackson. Hachimura. Cam Reddish, Jordan Poole Silver, Braun, so Lakers got some nice. Wizards there, Claxton, a lot of Hornets guys. We have Avery Johnson, John Morant, Kobe White Hollow, my house. Thomas Bryant, Tyler Hero. We got Zion, got Jackson Hayes, Nunn, to 10, CJ, Cam Reddish, Red, AD, Romeo, a lot of nice Romeo. Um, there's no notification, but just watch my Instagram story, and whenever I post a new video, it'll say in the top right. Uh, Kemba Walker, Christian Wood, Harden, we got a Cody Martin again, PJ, Lonzo, um, Carson Edwards, Boban Marjanovic for the Mavs, and a Taco Fall to 35 right there for the Celtics. Then we have some pretty nice stuff here. Sekou to 99. Nice. Bull Bull, the hottest name on planet Earth right now, to 299. Zion to 299. And John Stockton, one of one. Right there. One of one. Whew. And that'll do it for this one. So I'm going to end this stream now. And in 5 to 15, probably 10 to 15, actually, more like that. I will have this one uploaded, and then we will go live for the next break, which is very similar to this one, except we have a uh, select, I believe, and a couple others. So stay tuned for that one. Good, uh, thanks to everyone for joining. Congrats on the big polls. You can watch this on uh, back on Playback soon, and uh, this will be uploaded to Pac-Man Breaks, of course. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in a bit.